Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to go over the 6.5 series of boxes that I'm coming out with for the Traxxas M41 boat. A uh, couple of disclaimers first. We make these splash resistant and as watertight as we possibly can, but we also aren't trying to degrade the looks. So it's highly recommended that you go through and all the holes for the screws as you install them, put something in there to seal it up. You can seal around the edges, around the wires, wherever you feel around the speaker face. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. We designed them for show and display. If you want to run them on the water, you should definitely consider going through and trying to waterproof the system yourself. We do not cover any damage done because of water. So just wanted to get that out of the way. On top of that, they are all handmade and I print them out myself. So there will be some defects like this little ring around the outer edge. That's pretty standard just to show us where everything lines up when we're assembling it. But sometimes there may be some stringing or a small nick or something. And then the adhesive we use also sometimes dries out some of the plastic that we print out. But most of that can be taken care of if you just take uh, like 220 grit sandpaper like I did on this side or Scotch-Brite and then rub it back over with your hand to put some of the oils from your hand to clear out those journals. And it usually comes back to a nice color. So right now we're only making them in black. I'm experimenting with some reds, trying to match the tracks this red as much as possible. Um, but to go over some of the specs, the this is the main box. It comes in a 6.5 and a 6.5R. It's got two full range drivers and the R model adds a passive radiator. So this box sits over the back seat. You don't have to cut out the back seat. It's designed to fit over the back seat of your boat and be installed. I'll have a video on that later. But you do not have to cut out the back seat of your boat to install this box. That's one of the main things I wanted to do. You, if you have the full system with the woofer, you drill a total of six holes in the upper section and then two holes in the actual hole of the top of the boat. So then onto the subwoofer. Uh, you got two more holes for that, and then you also have one hole for the wire. So this is specifically a subwoofer. It's designed for low frequencies. I'll have a video showing how it performs. It performs quite well. It's a very nice balanced system. I'm a bit of an audiophile myself, so I enjoy good quality sound. So I went through many different speaker manufacturers before settling on these. So other than those, that's just a center console, so it sits right in there, and they can sitting there together. Our amp, our amplifiers. We use one amplifier for both systems, so if you decide just to get the rear box, you could order a subwoofer box later. So the subwoofer box is marked with the S channel, and then you have left and right, and then you got your power, bass, and volume. As you turn this knob up, it gives you more bass coming out of the amp, and then when you click the volume knob over, that turns it on, and then you can turn up the volume. And then you can turn it off, and then it won't be drawing power from the boat. So this is a Bluetooth, and then there's an aux port on it as well, so that you can run either a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or Bluetooth in your boat. So from this power source, that this is the cable included that you use to connect to your receiver. We got a bunch of connectors to connect the whole system with a couple extra in there for you, and then all the screws with one extra in case you lose one. Uh, on top of this, we also offer as another upgrade an amplifier mount, which takes one more screw and it mounts where uh, the Traxxas speedometer would go. So if you have one of those, you're not going to want this, you're going to want to find your own mounting place. But this mounts into that hole, you lift the tube up, route the tube around and under that side. And then you put the tube clip through there, put it in there, screw this down, and then you can put the amp in here. It's held in by these little wedges, and then downforce from this Velcro strap, which you can adjust yourself and play with and figure out what you want to do. This kit does require some tools. You have to have, I'm getting ready to film the video, so you need like Allen keys, drill bits, a drill, a screwdriver. You need a bunch of different stuff to install this, so it's not for your average person, but it's definitely for a hobbyist, and somebody who has one of these boats is probably a hobbyist, and I'd assume that they have most of what they need to assemble this entire kit. So, um, if you're interested or have any questions, I will have my email down below where you can email me and ask me questions. 
Uh, we should be coming out with some reds and possibly some other colors. If you have recommendations, shoot me an email. Uh, these are This is the first production model. I'm getting ready to run a couple out. They take about two weeks to make one. So um, if you're looking at ordering one, you can message me. I can custom make them. If you don't want the radiator, I've been working on trying to do engraving on top for lettering. Uh, I'll see how that turns out if somebody does want to do that. Um, anything else, just shoot me an email. I'll be getting around to doing that installation video, and then I'll see you guys then.